Hey everyone, just got back from our Wyoming elk hunting trip. Um, unpacking things, so I figured I'd give a quick rundown of things that I carry um, in my pack for, for day hunting. Um, we do hunt out of a big base camp and, and drive to each location and then hunt from there. So um, what I got in my pack right now is, is just basically for a long day, um, a long day on the mountain. So as far as a pack, um, I use a XO3200. This is the K3 that they came out with a couple of years ago. Super happy with it. Um, I got a couple other videos that uh, kind of walk through some of the details, so I'll skip over that. But in the lid, carry the Zolio um, satellite GPS device. It's, it's in the lid, and it does transmit right through the lid, so I don't have to worry about um, carrying around around my chest or anything like that. So it works just fine there. <clears throat> in the main pocket, got my headlamp and uh, kind of a Spoiled amenity for me is a, a inflatable seat. Um, a couple years ago, we got a whole bunch of snow while we were out there, so having a little seat to inflate and sit on was good. So could also use it for a glassing pad. Uh, let's see. On my right, I have a hip pocket. That's basically where I just carry my phone. Run on X through that. On the left, another smaller pack uh, or another smaller pouch. Don't have anything at right now, but basically here is where I carry my uh, Macy chapstick <clears throat> and uh, a wind checker. Got the Phelps tube on this side pocket. Uh, nothing in there. On this side, my my left hand side, carry some trekking bowls. These are Cascade carbon fiber. Um, nothing fancy about these. You can get them for 50 bucks, and they do the job. In the stretch pocket here, I got a really lightweight uh, windbreaker from Black Ovis. This is their Spectre jacket. Uh, I used to use the First Light Guide jacket, but this is actually a little bit lighter um, and, and uh, packs a little bit better too. In the side pocket, I usually have a water bottle that I carry um, for mixing electrolytes in. <laughs> this one I had my gloves in. Uh, I guess first here, I run a, a water bladder that I run out through with a little piece of Velcro so it's always kind of uh, ready and um, able to be used there. In the main part of the bag, um, I normally run <clears throat> one pouch here that has my food in it. Uh, I ate all my food um, and then some uh, toilet paper and a pen. Never know when you need a pen out there, especially some of the license you have to sign after you after you notch them. Um, we got some rain this year, so I carried a rain jacket. This is also from Black Ovis. This is their Black Ovis um, hailstone rain jacket. It's a little on the heavy side, but man, compared to the stuff I've used last year, it worked great. Further down in, carry a first aid kit. Nothing special on here since we're really only day hunting, um, but got some meds in here. Um, some sting relief, itch relief, um, band-aids, <clears throat> ibuprofen, and Tylenol, Excedrin, and all those type of things. Uh, here's my game bag, uh, or my kill kit. This one is one area that I want to improve on. It is heavy. Um, <clears throat> it is heavy, so but these are the black Ova sacks. The sacks themselves are great. Um, use them several times, they're able to be wash, uh, washed and reused. Um, but boy, I should really weigh what this thing looks at the scales at because <clears throat> got a Gerber knife in here. This is probably where some of your weight comes from. Um, knife sharpener, work sharp, work sharp sharpener. <clears throat> then I got some cordage, um, got some hand sanitizer and cleaner. And nitro gloves. I'm, I like using gloves, kind of helps keep everything clean. Um, hand sanitizer. Obviously, you use it when you're cleaning things up, but you never know when else you'd need something like that. <clears throat> so, this is somewhere I'd look in, looking to improve and get a little bit lighter. <sighs> Wish I knew it this way, but it's probably two pounds. It's pretty heavy. And other than that, okay, I got another one of these uh, little Maxim pouches. 
And here I have my uh, Sawyer filter, Sawyer water filter with some some tenacious tape. And I got a, a lighter with tape wrapped around that. Um, got another little backup pen light. Um, some pyro putty fire starter, and then uh, I kind of have my own fire starter, which is basically just a dryer lint in um, in Vaseline. <clears throat> and then, I guess the last thing is just like a little miscellaneous tool kit in here. Um, this has uh, has a little toolkit for my bow. I got all my Allens, extra um, extra D-loop, another lighter. Um, I guess I, one other thing is I use, I use only the Allens that my bow takes. I don't take the whole kit, just the Allens that actually fit on my bow. Um, and then uh, got a pliers. You never know when you need a little pliers and this is if you have to do redo a D-loop. And then um, carry an extra lease. extra set of batteries and some uh, string string lube. Um, ultimately that's pretty much everything. You know, just being out for the day, you don't need a whole lot of stuff. Um, you don't need to carry a whole lot of stuff because food and water takes up quite a bit. Uh, I guess I can touch on that. I think I did. But, um, water. I got a three liter water bladder. This is the brand name is Mazama, got this off Amazon. Actually, it's made in the states and um, lifetime warranty. I broke a, broke the clips on them up here before and just sent an email to them and they send you another one. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's pretty much it for what I carry. Um, for what I wear, it was early season. Um, just darn tough socks. These are the Cool Max and these are another darn tough socks. These are the more merino wool ones. I think I like the wool ones a little better than the Cool Max ones. Uh, I got some guide light pants. This is basically what I wear wear during up during the day. They're a little loud, um, but they're light and they dry fast. And for a top, this wear ultra light um, merino top. This is from First Light. I basically have the same thing in the um, black Ovis as well too. Um, I run some really cheap. These are Bluefield Gators. Uh, this last year we got a lot of rain and these things were, were awesome, but after three years the bottom just started to rip out, so I'll be looking for another set of these, uh, maybe upgrade a little bit. Then boots, this year I ran the Crispy Colorados. Normally I've been running the, the Summits. I made it three seasons with the Summits before the heels started to really give out. Um, we were in some pretty steep stuff this year, so going up to the uh, Crispy Colorados was great. Um, ultimately, that's pretty much where I carry. Um, not shown is my bino harness. I got that uh, actually up at the in the garage. Um, we were in Wyoming this year, so I carried a. This is a 10 mil from from Springfield. Um, this has the 15 round clip on it, so it holds like a normal grip on there. So everything's good there. Thankfully, didn't have to use that. Um, <clears throat> ultimately, that's what I carry throughout the day. Uh, like I said, there's not really much. Not really much else you need, so. Um, but if there's anything you can think of that I'm missing or something that I don't need to carry, let me know. I'm always open to ideas. I'm trying to lighten this up a little bit with food and water. I'm probably not 20 pounds. I don't weigh it because, well, frankly, I don't care. But um, I guess one thing I do need to do is maybe optimize the kill kit a little bit. Maybe a little bit lighter knife. Uh, whatever I did with that, that knife is pretty heavy and. A couple other things in here are pretty heavy, so if I can cut this in, in half, it would probably help out quite a bit. But that's that. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything I should uh, add, subtract, or change, or certainly if you have any suggestions for gators or lightening up my kill kit. Um, that's it. Thanks a lot.